Hi there, everybody. It's Aunt Rosler. Welcome back to Magic Root Work of Love and Prosperity. Uh, I am Aunt Rosalind from Roots of Earth, and I'm here today to give you just a, a message that is, is pertinent and it's important. And it's also to help uh, coach you all a little bit more in your love, okay, in your love life and how you're healing and recovering from any kind of issues you've been going through in your love life, okay? I've been doing more and more readings with you all, and I want to say thank you so much for your trust in me. Thank you for allowing me to use my gifts with you of uh, shamanic healing, root work, candle magic, guidance and insight, clearing and healing your past. I want to say thank you. Um, I know that a lot of you all, you know, you've been in traumatic relationships, you've been in love triangles, you've been in marriages that you felt like, you know, it confirmed some kind of unknown um, false truth in your life that you weren't worth enough to have another kind of relationship. And I want you to know that you are worthy. You are beautiful. You are divine. You were put on this earth in this lifetime to come in and learn your soul lessons in this lifetime and to help your family, help your children to live a good life that is abundant and fruitful and magical and to understand your true soul depths, to understand that you are a soul and you are spiritual in this lifetime. We all are. Sometimes we just lose our way. Okay. And what I want to say is that when you are coming out of a relationship that somehow wounded you, even if you have not been in a relationship and it's been some years and you haven't been in a relationship, <clears throat> that's okay. You still may be carrying old wounds, old stagnant energy in your energy body, in your chakra system. It happens to all of us. I have a lot of empathy. Okay, I don't judge people who are going through things and it sounds kind of strange when you're saying it out loud or when you're telling it to another person, I don't judge you because I've been there. Okay. I've had a lot of my own uh, issues and trauma and childhood um, issues that I had to understand and learn to fully grow and encompass that. We're on an ever learning, ever growing journey in our life. Okay. <clears throat> to fully know and understand who we are. So I want you to know that I'm not judging you I'm simply guiding you and I'm doing what I'm doing what you have sought after I'm doing what you have contacted me for when I have a session with you or a reading with you I am simply giving you the best information that's coming through from highest light um, I don't work with dark energy okay I don't work with dark energy and you know, I don't label myself, you know, I, I don't do that because I know that I am a shamanic healer. I know that I am a tarot reader. I know I'm an energy healer. I know I'm a hoodoo and root worker, but I don't label myself as one thing only. I don't think any of us are one thing only, you know. So what I wanted to focus on for a few minutes is letting go letting go. When you have had these traumas in your past and you've been with someone who has reinforced a lot of the wounds, a lot of your insecurities, they reinforce them. Even some people have been in abusive relationships, not just women, men too. Um, what I want to say is that when you start to believe and trust the universe and the universal energies and you start to believe and trust your ancestors, um, of light, your ancestors that are of light and who have been healed on the other side, your spirit guides, your ascended masters, you start to work with archangels and saints, which is all what I do because my family, part of my family is from New Orleans, so I work with a lot of um, ancestor veneration, saint worship, saint conjure, you know, in my root work and hoodoo. And that is one of the biggest steps you can take going in the right direction. It's starting to understand what is your first line of uh, support. What is your first uh, line of protection in your life, spiritually, mentally, you know, psychologically, as you move forward. 
okay? You're going to need to understand that you are being supported and loved by this energy on the other side, by universal energies, by things that you might not fully understand, okay? Letting go of the past, letting it, letting it go and being thankful that you understand it better now and that you're going to start moving on to better things. Once your roads are more clear, cleansed, once you've been liberated more, you'll start to understand that letting go of that trauma and the wounds from the past, letting go of those false truths of who you are, learning who you really are, it's much easier to just start to move on and release those things. Okay. One of the first steps is alchemy because you're going to need cleansing. Okay. Now, years ago, I learned about, you know, alchemy and transmuting negative energy, clearing, cleansing, banishing negative energy. It can exist in you. It can ex exist on your energy body on a soul level. Some of you are carrying past life wounds and trauma. Okay. And it's still existing and resonating with you in your life right now. Some of you have this running in your family. It's a generational, some people would say generational curse. Some people would say uh, ancestral curse. Um, some people would say you just have this running through your family. It's in your DNA, you know, t for people to be this way in your family. Um, it can all be cleansed. It can all be helped. It can all be, you know, all of that negative sludge, repetitive behaviors that don't make sense in you, in your family, in your children. You're starting to see it in your children or your nieces and nephews. All of those things can be cleared. Okay, and I learned about that years ago in my shamanic training. Um, I also wanted to say that that is the first step is you acknowledging it and started to work on cleansing and clearing it. I put together products for that. I also do a lot of custom work for that, okay, for that reason, because you do not want to open up all your roads, all your paths, and have all of that stuck, stagnant, negative stuff attached to you, okay? I was just working uh, yesterday with someone, um, her husband, he's got really bad attachments and I almost felt like they were demonic. Sometimes in a reading when you ask me to look into your energy or look into someone else in your family, especially if you're living with people, okay, sometimes they have a lot of negative energy and it'll usually <clears throat> show up in a reading. Sometimes the presence will actually speak to me during a, re a reading and it's just nasty, you know, it's, and it's, it's toxic. However, it's thousands of people walking around in these types of situations with this going on daily. And you may be wondering, well, why is it that this always happens? Why does this person behave this way? Why are the children behaving this way? Why does it seem like no matter what I'm doing, you know, <clears throat> I can't get past this certain point. It's almost like a ceiling, you know, this certain level at work. I'm never able to do more never able to get past a certain amount of income, never having good, clear friendships and relationships. It always seems like these same issues come up. I just want you to know you're not crazy. <laughs> you're not crazy at all. These issues do come up. There are actual entities attached to you, and sometimes they implant themselves. And you may be wondering, what is going on? Why do I feel this way? Sometimes they just make you feel sick. You know, and that's why the more you you go along in this genre, in this um, in this way of working through your life and understanding energy more, and especially if you're empathic, um, which I don't just like to use that word empathic because a lot of us are absorbing energy and we don't know it. Okay, so I just wanted you to understand a lot of us need clearing, cleansing, banishing on a routine basis. OK, and sometimes it's not always in a way that you will understand. Sometimes you need to go to another person and work on things together. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to touch on that as far as these love relationships and letting go um, who you're living with, what's in your environment. Do you understand sacred space? Do you understand clearing, cleansing and starting to liberate yourself? 
you may have loved another person, you know, so, so much. They may have been a soulmate. They may have been a twin flame. However, it doesn't mean that you won't need to let this person go so you can li live your life fully and be happy. You, you will sooner or later in some instances, in some cases, you will need to release the soulmate or the twin flame. Um, it just happens sometimes because that is how our ancestors, that is how our spirit guides, that is how we, even we, programmed ourselves so long ago in another life. It gets really deep. Sometimes we set it up for ourselves in this lifetime to experience something so that we can finally understand it. Okay? The whole thing with Twin Flames, you know, I used to do exclusive Twin Flame readings, um, you know, work on that with people. And when you say the word Twin Flame or soulmate, sometimes people think that you are supposed to pursue that person forever. And, you know, years later, I've, I've gotten, you know, requests for readings with Twin Flames who... 20 years, 20 years they've been back and forth in some kind of theme with one another and, and still not together in a relationship, still not together. So it begins to get to a point of denial, of not moving forward. Sometimes we put up these thoughts just so we won't have to move forward. <clears throat> there are so many of us who do that. We cling to a person, we cling to a past relationship so we can then not have to face any new challenges. It's like a psychological barrier you might be putting up. Okay, I just want you to understand that. Um, I, I don't have a problem with going more in depth with you in a reading. I, I used to do a, a lot of case management, a lot of family dynamic counseling, a lot of supervised visitation, a lot of family reunification. Um, I, I do have a degree in that, you know, because I, I used to help families all over. All over I used to help families. Um, <clears throat> so I want you to know I don't have judgment of you, you know, in that, in that genre of you being uh, not at your best. You're in trauma. You're not clear on decisions. You know, I understand it. I understand it, okay? So, I just want you to know that and I'm here. The readings are only part of what I do. You can go to www.rootsofearth.net, www.rootsofearth.net, and you can see all of my sessions, counseling sessions, guidance, readings, ancestral ceremonies, ancestor veneration, uh, root work training. You know, I do mentor and give sessions to those who are getting into hoodoo and conjure and root work, candle magic, um, because there's things that you need to do ethically, okay? Um, also, um, if you do send me an email to the email listed below, just um, make sure that you at least stop by the website first, www.rootsofearth.net, because you have a little more of a basis of understanding of what's available to you, okay? That way we're not passing random emails or random text messages. My phone number is listed too if you have a very direct, you know, urgent need. My phone number is listed, but again, I'm asking you to have an idea of what you want and to be, um, you know, prepared, you know, for your services instead of us just kind of randomly passing a text message, you know, and it's not really amounting to anything. You're still not sure. So um, what I want to do in conclusion is wish you a beautiful and wonderful rest of your day. You know, you goddesses, you divine masculine, you know, I, I want you to start to just cherish yourself and understand how beautiful you are. I want you to understand that your keys to everything starts with understanding yourself, understanding how beautiful and divine and powerful you are, and understanding, yes, you need to love yourself. It's okay. Love yourself. Okay? I'll talk to you all again soon. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.